kitchen. Uh, today we're going to make guacamole. My, uh, one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite foods. So we're going to get started uh, real quick here. We're going to run this uh, as fast as I can do it. I've already chopped up a bunch of avocado. Got the last one to go here. Simply put, to butcher an avocado, those of you who don't know how to do it, what you do is you take your knife and slice it all the way around around the pit. Twist the halves and she opens up. If you get the pit out, take your knife, bury it in the pit, twist. Easy. Uh, to gut the avocado, take a dull knife so you don't cut yourself, so you don't cut through the avocado. And then we slice through one way and the other way. So what you're doing is you're chopping up the avocado before it even leaves its skin. And then we take a spoon and we scoop that right out. And that way you get everything out of that avocado shell. Also when you're picking your avocados uh, generally, I like them to be fairly firm. They should yield just very slightly when you uh, when you squeeze them. If they're really soft or even noticeably soft, uh, they're a little bit too ripe for me. Although, as long as they're not really soft, uh, you don't have to worry about it too much. Okay, next the onion. For those of you uh, who don't know the easy way of slicing an onion. Uh, I've already prepped half of this onion. Uh, first you chop off the, uh, the end and then you stand it up, slice it through the root, and then you wind up with a half an onion like that. To, uh, to speed up the chopping process and to avoid some of the tears, you chop your onion right through like this. It's kind of the same principle that we used on the avocado a second ago. Oops. And this way the juices and gases from the onion don't have a chance to really get out and get to your eyes. And when you slice, you can slice those slices as thin as you like or thicker. Just like that. Slice this guy up, and that should be about right. So take all of this onion, and chop to medium fine. Uh, again, I guess it's kind of up to your personal taste how you're going to chop it, but uh, I don't like to have it too fine. Uh, that way you get a nice texture in the uh, in the guac. Uh, cilantro. Cilantro is our next ingredient. Our guacamole, by the way, is uh, four avocados and a half an onion now and a nice bunch of cilantro. And with the cilantro, you wash it thoroughly and then roll it over like that and hold it real tight. And then you can just slice it very, very fine. here and drop that into our bowl. Thing. Now we're going to use about a third of a cup of lemon juice. Um, you can use lime juice if you like, but uh, it t tends to not have as much snap as the lemon juice does. So, 
I prefer to use the lemon juice. Uh, also, at this point, some of my secret hot sauce. Uh, maybe I'll do a show on the uh, on my hot sauce one of these days. And for this, we use uh, to taste. Um, I use maybe about a quarter to a half a teaspoon. This is a habanero sauce. We don't want to kill people with the um, with the guacamole. We just want them to uh, have a nice little snap, a nice taste to it. And uh, maybe about a uh, uh, maybe about a quarter to a half a teaspoon again of salt to bring those flavors out and really give it a, a nicer flavor. And then we mix it. I tend to like to uh, to mash it up a bit more. Some people like to leave the uh, guacamole chunky like that. <clears throat> But um, I prefer to, to get the flavors going a little bit more. So I, um, I, take, I take a potato masher, one of these guys, and uh, I just work it with the potato masher a little, a little bit. That stir this up a little bit more, and then it's uh, ready for the for the best part, tasting. Now, of course, guacamole you need to let it stand a little while before you eat it. Oh man, that smells fantastic! Don't you wish you had smell vision? Um, the flavors have to release from the onion and the cilantro. The lemon has to get going there. So let's uh, grab a chip. And we'll see how this tastes. <laughs> Needs more hot sauce. Got just enough lemon, um, the salt, probably use a little bit more salt too. So now we're doing about maybe three quarters of a teaspoon to a full teaspoon or so of hot sauce, habanero sauce. Um, pretty much the only sauces that I use are uh, cayenne pepper sauce and uh, that I buy and uh, the hot uh, habanero sauce that I make. But for this I always use a habanero sauce. So let's try this again. Perfecto. That's, that's a wonderful sauce. And of course, this, since this show is John and Yoko, I'm going to wander over here to my camera girl, that being Yoko. And how do you like it, huh? Oh, very good. Perfect. Nice <laughs> kick to it. Now, of course. And there we have it. Um, there's our finished guac. And um, I guess that's it for today. And I uh, hope you guys come back and check us out uh, another time. We'll have more uh, fun in the kitchen and see what else we got going on around the house. So until I see you next time, take it easy.